Hello YouTube, welcome to a first impressions of Canada, which literally must have just been announced because I was, okay, I'm a desktop, I went to click in a game, I was playing Civ earlier, I was like, I fancy playing Civ, then I was like, oh no, I'm going to play Overwatch instead, and um, yeah, just saw, as soon as I went on it, this, I was like, because I came on here to turn it off, obviously, and I saw this, so this is genuinely my first impressions, and I'm actually super excited, like, not even, like, watching in the background or anything. It just, I don't know when it came out. I was playing Civ earlier and didn't see this, so, um, yeah. Don't know why I didn't see this. But anyway, let's listen to it. Let's watch it, and I'm not clicking there. Wilfred Laurier leads Canada in Civilization VI Gathering Storm. He was the seventh Prime Minister of Canada and is remembered today for his charismatic personality and his focus on Canadian unity and expansion. Wilfrid Laurier's leader ability is the Last Best West. Last Best West. Okay. Farms can be built in Tundra and after. Farms can be. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, then. Okay, so Tundra Tiles is usually one food, isn't it? No, that's planes. What Tundra Tiles? To Google. Okay, what are tundra tiles? I put tundra. Uh, let's go to Civ Six. Okay, okay, we're on a Scottish for some reason. Let's check tundra tiles. Tundra in Civ Six. Civ Five. That there. there, Civ Six. Just saw it. The corner of my. I was about to search again. Okay, basically, plus one food. So yeah, just one food. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. So, her ability is the last best West. Farms can be built so in yeah, Tundra, an extra and so after researching nice. civil engineering, settle. I just realised I'm talking over that, and that's gonna be really loud. You can actually settle in Tundra now, and that's actually pretty nice. And it works well with Canada. And their colours look nice in this, but that's just another point. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to this as well because she was saying something else, and I spoke over it. Best West. Farms can be built in tundra, and after researching civil engineering, can also be built on tundra hills. That's pretty the good. cost of purchasing snow and tundra tiles is reduced, and he receives double. Reduced. Uh, I don't know which era this is. I didn't see how much that was reduced by, but that seemed a significant amount. Twenty-seven. Seemed like a significant amount, considering this is turn eighty-four. So. Probably coming up to the classical era, so I'm guessing that's about a third of the price, which is interesting. Full extraction of all consumable resources, such as iron. Okay, I want to watch this properly because this is the first Produced. I've heard about this. And way. he receives double extraction of all consumable resources, such as iron, on snow and tundra tiles. Canada's you. Okay, so you have a stockpile of all consumable I get resources, them, such as. So you actually have a stockpile now, so what... I've seen you use iron per turn on units. I'm not sure if it's like a constant iron per turn upkeep. Or it's a singular use of iron to heal them or build them. I, I would assume it's a singular use of iron. So, peop, so I'm guessing this is so people with low iron can actually still build things, it just takes slower. It takes a slower amount of time, yeah. Um, which is interesting. First, we've seen of this, they definitely want to use this new feature. As iron on snow and tundra tiles. Canada's unique improvement is the ice, ice hockey, hockey rink. Nice. It can only be built in tundra or snow, and only one may be built per city. It provides a skill okay, and time. amenities, plus culture based on adjacent snow and tundra tiles. Okay, I'm guessing there's one for every snow or tundra tile, which is fucking ridiculous for culture. Six unlocking culture. flight adds tourism, and unlocking professional sports adds production and food. Professional sports? That's, uh, oh, no, no, no. I'm it also provides recreation. culture if adjacent to a stadium building. So it was originally six. Six. Like snow and tundra tile. And this. Okay, don't want to see this yet. Food. Puts it to ten. It also provides culture if adjacent to a stadium building. I mean. Did you say there was a limit on them? Go back. Go back. Or snow, and only one may be built per city. Only it provides city, appeal okay. and- But still, you can stick. 
it's it's a tactic to uh, not one I use, but an entertainment district between your buildings for Colosseum. Like if you're going for the Colosseum to help your amenities, you're going to stick it as close to the middle as possible, or it's just when you get a stadium anyway. So, say you put this in the middle of four cities, and then each of them can get plus ten from the same one, and you can even stick another entertainment district, like. Say this is this one's entertainment district, you're just gonna form right there. Does it give it the same bonus? That's and amenities good culture. plus culture based on adjacent snow and tundra tiles. Unlocking flight adds tourism, and unlocking professional sports adds production and food. It also provides culture if Pitch adjacent to a well. stadium building. Why Canada food for ice hockey. Well, usually there's a logical reason for things, but food? Food. tiles. Unlocking flight adds tourism, and unlocking professional sports adds production and food. It Maybe also provides Bender's culture banner. if adjacent to a stadium building. Canada's unique ability is four faces of peace. They cannot declare surprise wars or be the target of one. They also receive extra favor for successfully completing an emergency. Looking at the favor in a minute. Not being able to declare a surprise war is very negative, obviously want to know what that is um very negative for you know going for dominic so i'm guessing they're just completely avoiding that so okay that's each their own but not being ha able to have one declared to you kind of pretty much um persia i'm trying to remember cyrus cyrus loves declaring surprise wars i swear he like hit him in the code it's only declaring surprise war on people so that would that cause him to like break and not declare war? I would love to see that. And also having this pretty much makes you Scythia's best friend. Target of one. They also receive extra favor for successfully. Okay, so ravaged by natural disaster, assistance with. Uh, yep. Okay. So this is to do with the World Congress. So you get extra favor. You're completing an emergency. And additional favor based on their tourism. I have no clue how this favor system works. I haven't seen any of it. That's a new symbol. Pretty sure these two are new as well. But anyway, <laughs> not sure how this favor system works. So you get 100. Receive. What? I don't get how this works. So you just receive extra. I don't know how that works yet. To a stadium building. Wow, don't Surprise want wars. Or be the target of one. They also receive extra favor for successfully completing an emergency. And additional favor based on their tourism. Does no one else get it from tourism? Completing an emergency. This is a new thing, we just don't know what it is yet. And Does additional favor. Does no get anything from tourism? Is this just a general thing as well? Um, go back to here. Is this a just general thing? Hmm. B -b 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 can I declare? Yep, 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 yep. Um, I just realized I just connected Canada as far as well. Okay, other than that. Uh, every hundred tourism earns one diplomatic favor. Okay, so it's not exactly how they say you get a plus one per turn. Okay, that makes, that makes more sense. So you're mainly to help people. So this is very stereotypical. Down, let's hope there'll be a new person here. Okay. And I press zero by accident. We're about one. Eight. No, let's go back to there. Tourism. Their unique unit is the Mountie. This light cavalry unit has the ability to create else. a national park. Culture gods. I'm saying now. It also receives a strength bonus when fighting close to any national park, and an even higher strength bonus when fighting near Canadian owned national parks. Okay, I don't know why you'd be fighting near other national parks, um, but I guess that's good for counterculture victory. <laughs> but culture victory here is incredible. Okay, so I was the oh my god, just did it again. Has what the ability the to create a national park. It also receives a strength bonus when fighting close to any national park, and an even higher strength bonus when fighting near Canadian-owned national. So I'm guessing it's plus 10, it's plus, plus 5 each. Still ridiculous. 
very good defensively because you'll be going for a culture victory, I'm guessing with this Civ. So you'll be wanting to build these national parks or whatever, and he built it without being able to use himself. So I'm guessing he can build multiple. It doesn't say charges on him. So I'm guessing he can build multiple and doesn't use the ability himself. to create a national park. It also receives a strength bonus when fighting close to any national park, and an even higher strength bonus when. So this is amazing. Defending your national parks, or defending your borders, because national parks are obviously be away from your city centers because that's where all your districts will be so the appeal will be lower and then they're amazing for attacking people who also have good culture like ridiculous fighting near canadian owned national parks as canada you can take advantage of the icy landscape that most other civilizations will ignore but should you fall under attack your mounties are powerful defenders canada is built for a strong culture this is going to be a whole different thing because I have no clue how that system works. But right now, I want to see um, appeal. Right now, I want to see because I completely forgot how um, tundra affects it. Tundra does not affect it. I'm going to quickly try find tundra in this. Tundra is not in here. Oh, the genie. Okay, so don't even worry about that. So Tundra doesn't affect it. I thought Tundra did. Okay. So Tundra doesn't affect appeal. I thought Tundra automatically gave you higher appeal. I was about to say because they are bloody ridiculous then. Ridiculously set up. Yeah, I'm just flicking through. I can't see anything that mentions Tundra. So, ridiculous. I'm going to say again. But um, at least it wasn't... I was thinking Tundra gave plus one appeal just anyway to the surrounding area. Great animation there. Um, to the great... Uh, to the um, surrounding area. So I was about to say you can literally build a national park anywhere. Back, your Mounties are powerful defenders. Canada is built for a strong culture victory, and can make a good run at a diplomatic victory as well. Be sure to join as many emergencies as possible to take full advantage of their diplomatic strengths. Will you guide the world with your run at a diplomatic... Okay, Canada let's, let's have a look at this. So, the World Congress is back. Um, here are the six members, all with diplomatic favor, I'm guessing, which you can earn more of. Okay, so that kind of gives you an advantage. Uh, must decide how best to exploit the blah, 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 blah. okay so using diplomatic favor uh okay because i'm trying to teach myself this now your first vote is free so you get one free vote anyway it is built for a strong show you a culture cost victory right and can make a good run at a diplomatic victory as well. okay so each one of that uses diplomatic victory uh, diplomatic points i'm going to turn this down so i can talk over canada it canada is built for a strong culture victory what why are you oh you're giving yourself diplomatic victory points so i'm guessing that's how it is you have to vote to give people points i want to see how that works obviously it's just a game of saving diplomatic favor then just not voting in anything so you're being Switzerland, you're just staying neutral to everything. Which is interesting, I guess they could add Switzerland into this, that's actually a cool mod. Or as if they will announce. And can make a good run at a diplomatic victory as well. Be sure. Does everyone have to pick one person then? So everyone's going to be choosing somebody to get one. And you'll be choosing somebody who will not be going for it. In this case, you? I don't know, but that's going into that. But anyway, let's have a look at the competitions. Okay, because it's in session, so I'm guessing it's a timed period. I, so you can't... So pretty much your game is defending people from getting victories until this comes around every time, which doesn't seem like something I'd enjoy, but I can see how some people would enjoy that. But anyway... um. Okay, this is same thing. 
as the other diplomatic join as many ones. emergencies as possible to take full advantage of their so I forgot where my buttons was there. well be sure to join as many emergencies as possible okay the luxury policy okay so these are the policies and the people who are voting um hmm. that's such pretty cool um yeah again these things i did like this this was interesting it was another type of policy thing but it does sometimes make the game a bit too confusing like a bit too much to pay attention to if you're just having a casual game but anyway voting on diplomatic victory is weird and what's this a mean is that answers A lot of people must have voted. I don't know how that works. To take full oh, there's competition of world games. Did I just... Yeah, it's right here. So this passed. So you gained two points to Diplomat to Victory. I don't know how many this actually should be. I think you got eight votes. Jesus. Um, okay. So you can see who voted here. For diplomatic victories. Hmm. Don't know how this will work there. Maybe that's something cool. Like they're actually. Like how you can see these. But something you can actually compete in. Maybe that can earn you more points. That'll be interesting. Advantage of these competitions. Strengths. Will you guide the world with your sunny ways from the Great White North? How will you lead Canada in Sid Meier's Civilization VI Gathering Storm? Okay, flicking back to was before this. Okay, flicking back to here. Definitely culture. Definitely. For each hunter, 200 hill snow and snow hill tiles. Plus one culture. Amazing. Plus four culture if adjacent to stadium building. Incredible. And that gives it plus two appeal anyway. So, just, that's kind of ridiculous to a point. I think this would be changed after a while. Mounties, I guess, are good. I actually think they're incredibly well balanced, incredibly fun, and incredibly game-changing as well. That's actually very fun. Like, you'd be very wary of this guy when you're building, say you're going to avoid building national parks towards his borders because he can win those fights type thing so that's actually very fun um just make sure there's nothing else okay this extraction rate is very weird but anyway i can see yourself obviously going for the culture victory i'm going to say first uh diplomatic victory actually now we've looked at how you win that is by voting on people to win it so i'm guessing you know the turn limit being 500 do you have to wait to that turn limit so there's no score victory left or is it a earlier thing which surely whoever gets the most points wins that's how it's looking or is it after you get a certain amount of points don't know but anyway that is my first impressions i really do like the sieve the sieve's kind of cool um i don't see a parallel in the game right now because obviously it's taking advantage of new systems i guess the only parallel i think of is brazil because brazil get plus one appeal per rainforest tile which is a tile that's usually minus one appeal so it's actually pretty nice on that front for like putting national parks down but that's the only sort of thing i could see being a parallel but as before as it makes use of tiles that are otherwise not used for them used in that type of victory so that's quite cool but anyway that's my first impression so i hope you have uh, enjoyed this i hope you've gone and checked out my previous ones i hope you do subscribe i hope you like it and will like the video uh, leave a comment if you have any thoughts on this i'd like to actually see thoughts on this because i like this this is interesting because it's using new mechanics like um like wilhelmina when she was first added she was very much uh, not wilhelmina oh my god i can't think of the sieve's name right now but when they were first added to the game they were using a new system la toro that's what i'm trying to remember uh, as the Mapuche, they used all the new systems and it was very interesting. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.